Uh, it's not there, is it? It's in Steam. Let's have a look at the trailer. Right then. Right, so it does have that kind of Fortnite-y build base building, which, you know, seems to be a common thing at the moment for survival-based games. It's gone for comedy, which is strange. Okay, so it is a kind of TV game show kind of thing. It's got that really weird player glides left to right kind of um, model animation. I mean, it's got some interesting buildings. So you build a base. Oh, cool. It's got... Okay, we've got guns and ammunition. So you can... <laughs> Jesus. You can actually build some interesting structures here. That looks like um, scaffolding. Oh, cool. Destructible scaffolding. That's quite cool. Kill five mutants. Okay, quests are quite um, simple. Okay, so we're getting... Okay, they're bosses. That looks like a boss of some sort. Good skill base. It looks like um, Far Cry, a primal. In the sense of the combat and the character development. So it's got some cool dynamics. It's got some good, like, uh, limb limb removal, like slicing off limbs. It's got some good gore. There's some horror. Definitely some horror in this. Over the last seven years, we've been working on this game, and we're devastated to see the fires of... Uh, okay, some sort of um, humanitarian script. Um, okay, Fractured Veil, vale, Early Access 2023. Wishlist now on Steam. Okay, so that's the information that we have from the game. That's all I can see. Oh, here we go. Let's go fig screen. Oh, that was a um, ukulele with a bow and arrow in it. Now, what I like about it, it's different. It looks fun. It looks different. It's got a mixture of not only combat, um, first-person combat, crafting, horror, PvP. It just looks fun. I mean, take any one of those elements I just said and have them separately. You've got Rust and you've got, like, um, Fortnite-style games. But this one looks a little bit more adult. And it kind of encapsulates more than just killing. It seems to have a whole system of crafting, exploration, things to do with team and things to do on your own. So that is what I kind of brought my attention to it. Now, it is out in seven days. That's kind of okay. I mean, I don't like that kind of building when you're in combat. So you just put a wall in front of you whilst fighting. <laughs> I mean, what's his character model? Why is he so shiny? It's like plastic. These are like Fallout characters. Like soulless expressions on their faces. I'm going to be a bit critical now. That sliding around on the feet is a kind of annoying. Um, it's fine. I don't like this noise they're playing over the top. <laughs> Building up little posts. Okay, I understand that. Smelting. I love explosions and things like that. This can be really fun if you have a guild. I mean, that's great. I like stuff like that. Wow. And it looks like they were fighting zombies, not each other. Quest giving, fine, I like that. And I do like the idea of going into dungeons and searching and exploring things. Because that means you can go out and do stuff either on your own or with a small group that doesn't involve PvP. So you're not constantly held to PvP. There you go, there's that skill-based thing. It's a horrible character model. Why do you show this character model? I don't know. I mean, I guess it's meant to show, like, customizability, but... <laughs> Smoke bomb, stink bomb, I think that was. Anyway, this is alpha footage, and I do know that people have actually played this game and are in already, but uh, I don't want to be too much of a spoiler. I just want to see if I can get the idea of what the basics of this game are. Right. <laughs> 